Okay, so you've made it to the set and you're about to film a scene and we're gonna pretend that in the scene you've got our friend Bob here and Bob is gonna be talking to Mary and you've written it, it's in your script and so here they are and you show up as the director but now you've got to communicate how this scene is going to work to your actors because clearly you have an actor playing Bob and an actor playing Mary and they might not know what you're thinking as the director for the scene. So when you're going to go to a set and you're going to have actors involved, the number one most important thing that you do right away is that you have a clear understanding of what you see happening in the script that you're working from. It's really important that you, the director, have a vision for the scene. You need to be able to look at the script, see the scene, understand, okay, here's where the conflict that you know is going on in the scene. You need to understand uh, what's at stake in the scene, and you need to have an idea in your head. You need to be picturing the, the movie that's going on in your head of, okay, this scene should look this way. The dialogue is gonna be uh, this way. It's gonna escalate like this or de-escalate like that, and you need to understand what's the goal for this scene. So that when you show up on the set and you meet Bob and Mary actors and they show up, you can communicate this vision to them. You need to be able to talk to them and say, guys, here's what's going on in the scene. So Bob, you're going to be here and Mary, you're going to be here. And guess what, Bob? You're going to find out that Mary is your long lost grandmother that you didn't know existed or whatever it happens to be. But you, the director, need to understand what your goal is in the whole scene. And then you need to be able to communicate it to your two actors. So when you talk to actors, it's really important that you communicate very clearly. A lot of times I've heard some movies where they make kind of fun of directors because they talk in these big flowery terms and they say, all right, in this thing, imagine that you're a dog and you're lost. But you know, here at the end of the scene, you're, you're a dog and, and now you're gonna be found because Mary is Bob's grandma. That's really difficult to act out for an actor. It's really hard to determine how in the world am I supposed to act that out. But you, the director, can come at it a little differently and you can give them a very clear vision. You can say, at the beginning of this scene, Bob, uh, you're, you're a little confused about what's going on, but you're also angry, Bob. And so as this line uh, as it goes on, you're talking, you need to be getting more and more and more angry. And so your volume is going to be raised. There are things that they can do. Your hands should be moving more. Uh, ways to communicate clearly to the actor what you are envisioning is going on in your head and the way that the scene is supposed to be. That way the actor knows, okay, I know what the director wants. So when the director says, you know, roll camera action, I know what to do as an actor because I've been told, it's been communicated clearly to me. So when you're working with actors, that's the first and most important thing to do is to communicate really clearly to the actor, Bob, this is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to say. This is how you're supposed to be feeling right now. And Mary, you're gonna do this and you're gonna feel this way. And that way everybody's on the same page. They all know what you, the director, is, you know, they want to know what you're imagining and they want to be able to bring that to life. And so communicate clearly. Uh, the second major thing to do is what we call blocking and that's the staging of the scene. Now, the scene in the script might say Bob comes in and he enters the room and Mary is sitting at the table and they're beside a window. And that might be all in the script. But we need to know, okay, where does Bob come in? Does he come in? Does he walk around the room like this and then sit down? Does he come straight into the room and sit down? Does he kind of pace back and forth for a while and then sit down? All of these things are options because the script doesn't tell you. All it says is Bob comes in and eventually sits down. So how are you going to deal with this? Well, you, the director, have to have an idea in your head about what Bob should be doing. In your mind, was Bob pacing back and forth? Or does he just come down and sit down? Is he defeated right away so he just sits down and that's the end of it? We don't know, and the actors don't know either. So you, the director, have to communicate that. And then once you have an idea, let's say that Bob comes in, but that he paces around. You need to mark and say, Bob, on the floor here and here are two little X's or put some tape down or something. And you say, Bob, when you come in, when you say this line, you should be standing here. And then you're gonna say a few more lines and then when you get to the next line, you should be coming over and standing here. And so you actually will walk the room. You'll say, this is where you start, this is point A. And then when you get to this line, you should be here at point B. And that is what we call blocking. It's knowing where the motions and the actions happen within the scene so that the actor knows that they're gonna start here they're going to reach a certain point and then they walk over and now they're here and they're going to do this. So it's really important that you plan in your head kind of where the action is and that you block it with the actors so that they know where to be at certain parts of the script and that that way you can then plan where to put the cameras because let's see, 
if Bob is going to spend a lot of time pacing, you probably don't want to put the camera right there because it's going to be in the way. You need to know, oh, well, Bob's going to be pacing. We need to make sure that we put the camera way over here so that we can actually see Bob do the pacing. So blocking is really important. It gets everybody, actors, director, all the film people, all your volunteers, it keeps everybody aware of what's going on, where everybody's gonna be, and then you can adjust and say, all right, now that we've got our blocking and we know what is gonna happen in the scene, we can actually plan how we're gonna film the scene, which is your goal anyway. So the two major things with actors are one, communicate your vision clearly. If you wanna be clear, use tangible terms, don't talk in big flowery, concepts because it's going to be really hard for an actor to figure out what exactly you mean. And then the second thing, plan out your scene, block it, mark it, figure out where everybody uh, is supposed to be, where they're supposed to sit. If something unique is supposed to happen, like a coffee cup is supposed to come down at a certain point or whatever, you've planned it. You know, okay, at this line, this thing happens and that way the cameras then can capture it. So those are the two most important things. So we talked about audio and then we talked about, all right, you get to the set and now you're talking to the actors, but now you're about ready to film. So with that, we're gonna turn it over to Josh and he's gonna start talking about some on-set language and uh, what that means. So Josh.